Hey everybody, good evening and welcome to Against the Public for Wednesday, March 20th. We're the only show to analyze early betting patterns by the public. And we've done that once again with three more free NBA plays for Wednesday. Thank you for joining me. I'm Dana Lane. Before we get to our free plays, jump on any of my three packs right now in the NBA, college basketball, NHL. They will all be up there for just $49.99. And of course, this offer comes with our Pick Dogs win guarantee, which means you'll receive an immediate site credit for the purchase price if you do not profit. In addition, if you don't want to mess with any of the three packs or the individual game picks, please, this is the time, guys. We're on the verge of the NCAA tournament. The meat and potatoes uh, start soon. Major League Baseball starts tomorrow. Uh, this is the time to jump on an all-access pass, and you can do that. Become a member, a 30-day member for less than $11 a day, a 90-day member for less than $10 a day, and an annual all-access pass for just $3.56 a day. Ensure that you will never miss another one of my best bet winners from any sport again. If you're not an all-access customer yet, well, allow me to go through what we did on Tuesday. An incredible start to the night. Uh, incredible 7-0 and start overall. A perfect night in college basketball. Perfect night in the NBA. Uh, we almost got it there in the NHL, but just uh, got that one loss uh, in, in the NHL. So overall on Tuesday, an 8-1 and night. And all access members right now are, are doing snow angels in their money. So we are, we've we improved over the last seven days with so 57.4% winners. Adding, uh, adding to our bankroll this year, 2,653 units of profit. That makes me the number one handicapper on pick dogs with at least 500 or more plays. And you know we fire away every single day, at least three games in college basketball, at least three games in the NBA. We'll have a side and total in Major League Baseball tomorrow. We fire away every single day. Uh, perfect night in the NBA, like I said. We won over 1,300 or 1,359 units won in 2024, and it looks like in college basketball we're going to be at 1,119 units of profit once the website uh, updates in a few minutes. So what a what a great start overall, and I want to break this down a little bit more, not for self-indulgence and not to pat myself on the back. That's not what this is about. What this is is to show you that a handicapper, the handicapper that you put your money behind can maintain consistency. So when we talk about the NBA, 57% winners over the last week, 56% winners over the last 30 days, 55% winners over the last 90 days, good for 1,146 units of profit. In college basketball, 59.1% winners over the last seven days, 1,149 units won over the last 90 days. And in the NHL, let's not forget, 55% winners over the last seven days. Guys, when you're choosing a handicapper and never matters the hype that they throw out, that never matters what they say they're going to do, it only matters what the record says they have done. And that's why I love Pick Dogs because it is totally transparent, tells you exactly what every handicapper's pick is uh, for going way back. Uh, there's no games, there's no uh, you know smoke and mirrors. We are what we are because our record says uh, that that's who we are. That's Seems like a Dennis Green line somewhere in there. But it's time to get serious about your March bankroll. Get an all-access pass right now. That's all that needs to be said. Let's get to our free games for Wednesday. We're going to start things off 7 o'clock Eastern time, 5-11, 5-12. Indiana Pacers minus 9.5. 233 and a half is your total versus the Detroit Pistons. And all I can say about this number is get on it as quickly as possible. This number opened up at eight and a half. I bet it at eight and a half, but it ballooned up to nine and a half. Didn't get a chance to get it in there before the video. So 80, we see 80% of the money right now are on the, on the Pacers, at least the tickets um, are on the Pacers. So this number might go up even, even more. I look at this month, a number and I immediately think it's a trap. Uh, the bookmakers are giving you a generous amount of points with the home team, which is the Detroit Pistons. And yeah, they're having a t terrible season, 12 and 56 on the year, but they are re a respectable 35 and 33 against the spread and five and three in their last eight games. The Pacers 
already own a win and a cover against Detroit a month ago with a 14-point victory as a 12-point favor. And if you watch that game or remember that game, the Patri uh, Pacers absolutely uh, owned that game for three of the four quarters. They scored 72 points in the first half. They shot 53% from the field. Uh, they had a horrible third period, but outside of that third quarter, outside of that first, second, and fourth, they completely owned. They dominated for 36 minutes. They probably should have won this game between 20 and 25 points. And better yet, recent form, the Pacers are coming off that five-point loss at home against Cleveland as a seven-point favorite. You would think with Cleveland tra trailing the Bucks. Uh, by one game in a sh central, you are going to get the best effort out of Cleveland in this one. I'm going to take, or you're going to get the best effort out of Indiana in this one. I'm going to take Indiana minus nine and a half over Detroit. In game number two, seven o'clock Eastern time, uh, 5-13, 5-14, Miami Heat versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavs minus two and a half, two on one and a half as a total. Another game I wish we got on a little bit earlier that opened up at 204 and a half in some spots, obviously down to 201 and a half. We're so close to getting under a 200, uh, 200 total. He'd have been an automatic under bet this season with a 44 and 24 record to the under. They're on a run of seven straight unders after that 98 91 loss to the Philadelphia 76ers. In that span of games, they've averaged 204 points per game, but in their last three, that number has dropped even lower to 199 points a game. Six of the last 10 meetings have cashed under tickets, including their last meeting in December when Cleveland took a 111 90 victory with a total of 223 and a half in that game on the injury front Duncan Robinson is not going to play he's got that back injury he will he will be out uh, in this game for the heat Jimmy Butler listed as questionable with that right foot contusion and for Cleveland Donovan Mitchell is also listed as questionable with a knee injury word is around both camps is that even if uh, if Mitchell or Butler plays, they are less than 100%. So that's going to factor into this as well. Normally, 201.5 would be way too low for me. I don't think it's too low in this game. We're going to go under 201.5. And, and in game number three, 10 o'clock Eastern time, Los Angeles Clippers minus 11, 215.5 is your total versus the Portland Trailblazers. Both teams have trended under this season, but this series has cashed three straight overs, including both meetings this season, when, two, when the two teams combined for 259 points in their last meeting with a total of 219.5, and then 234 points uh, the meeting before this season, uh, meeting before earlier this season, uh, 225 was your total uh, in that meeting. So two games this year have both cashed over. And even if you want to go back to that last game last year, the two teams combined for 261 points. So they're not even getting close to going under the total. And the bookmakers continue to slap up uh, these numbers that are, you know, in that 215, 225 range in, in there. And that's just not containing these two teams. Los Angeles, we do know, is one of the better defensive teams in the league. They've allowed 115 points per game in their last five. So that's ticked up just a little bit. And I think if they hold hold form there, that's going to be good enough to push this game over the total. The Clippers are 3-8 and eight against teams with a winning record, but they've done pretty well against teams with uh, poor records in the league. So this should be right up their alley. And of course, last but not least, if you've seen the Ty Lue press conference and saw him you know, go back and forth with the reporter, which really, in my opinion, it was unprofessional, the reporter, to press Lou. It really looked like he was trying to get him to say something he didn't want to say. I commend Ty, Ty Lou for uh, handling himself in the manner that he did. But then you have Paul George come out in the media and also talk about, well, I don't think our team has an identity. So those things combined... I really am going to watch this this game, and it, it's a heart game for me. It's one of those, you know, you, you draw a little heart and you color it in and say, you know, whether they do or do not have heart. And if they don't, going down the stretch, I will never play them against the better teams in the league. But this game will show me where they're at because not only has the coach been questioned, he, got, he was under fire uh, from questions, unfair questions, really, uh, in, in the media, and then of course Paul George comes out and basically you know calls out the rest of his teammates. So we'll see what they're made of. We're going to go over the 215 and a half 
in this one. So that does it for you. Three free plays in the NBA. Go to PickDogs.com. Get involved with one of my many available packages, including my all-access pass that will give you every game that I release, whether it's the NBA, uh, NHL, the uh, college basketball, the tournament, of course, the Major League Baseball starting up uh, in uh, in South Korea. Uh, it's a great time of year. Make sure that you get involved to get every one of those plays sent to you every single day. And remember, my three-pack's going to be up there a couple minutes after this video posts, so make sure you get involved in that as well. What a fantastic Tuesday we had. We're going to finish that off and wash it down with a, a great Wednesday and a start to our NCAA tournament. Please get involved, and thank you to everybody who did uh, today. Let's recap our free plays one more time. Indiana minus nine and a half, Miami Cleveland under 201 and a half, and the Clippers in Portland over 215 and a half. This is going to be a massive month. Stay disciplined, continue adding to your 2024 bankroll, and I hope to see you uh, right by my side. And uh, hopefully, you uh, you put some money into that bankroll in 2024. No reason why you should. Make sure you stay consistent with those wagers. That's absolutely key as well. That does it for today's show. Thank you for everyone who has watched every single day. Thank you so much for all the great comments on YouTube. You guys are really fantastic. I mean, it's it's overwhelming. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much. For Against the Public, I'm Dana Lane. Let's crush them all week long. Have a good day, everybody.